If you want to scare people with your password, you have to understand the 10 tips I will give you today. The eighth one especially will make you very scary while staying safe. The password mobility is crazy. It's a huge step up from the great sword. By holding right click, you can threaten your opponent and stay mobile at the same time. While doing this, you also have stone form activated to protect you. So in one action, you have movement, offense and defense. This basic action gives you easy access to the pole sword's best attack, B1. The damage and the speed of this attack are way over the top and I hope it will get nerfed. Staying on the topic of mobility, the pole sword's left click attack got buffed in range. It's now insanely good to catch people trying to run away. This attack is also your main entry point in the Pulsword's best tense, Invincible Stone Form. Just like the Greatsword, you have access to the Invincible Stone Form here, but the Pulsword is much better. You have a lot more entry points in the stance, almost every attack. The attack options in the stance are a lot better, and you have access to mobility at any point by just moving. Careful though, if you choose to move while holding your invincible stone form, it will downgrade in a normal stone form. You can also choose to hold left click to access invincible stone form. The attack options are weaker and you don't have access to mobility like before, but you can get in an infinite loop of invincible stone form. You just have to hold left click, release the attack and hold again. This technique does not work when you use it with the Soul Jade Blistering Edge. You can only access the first invincible stone form and it cannot be looped. You can also end the loop by going in the right click invincible stone form to access the best options. Stone form doesn't work when you get hit in the back. But there are two tricks. Normal stone form can be used to absorb light attack and quick punish, just like you would do a classic hold check with other weapons. An invincible stone form can actually block blue attacks while turning around, but as soon as you stop turning, it's back to a normal stone form. This weapon is easy to parry up front due to the multiple hit blue attacks. Luckily, you have the possibility to redirect all the blue attacks from the pole sword to avoid parries, confuse your opponent, and potentially get a punish. The follow-up after the vertical focus attacks is also very flexible. You can delay this follow-up a lot, redirect it, and also grapple cancel it. After this attack you can also enter invincible stone form, but only with the left click. Don't ask me why, it's just, that's the way it is. Once your stone form is triggered, you can dash out of it with a stone dash. The first keyword here is aggressivity. You have two very good offensive options here. Left click for an unreactable blue attack with three follow ups. Or right click for a very fast and flexible light attack. I love using the second option because you stay mobile and aggressive and you can hold check with stone forms protection, making you very scary while staying safe. The second keyword here is delay. You can break your timings by delaying your stone dash and also delaying your action after it. This will make it really hard for your opponents to predict you and give you the possibility to react to their actions. The stone dash is also great to use defensively. The main thing is the ability to get out of light pressure by dashing out of some form so you don't get stuck in place. You can also cancel the stone dash at any point by parrying and dashing. And my favorite thing to do is to late parry after the stone dash. Other combo is fun to use, it's good to isolate the target and gives a free combo ender to finish the kill. You can cancel at any point after the first hit of Overcomer to finish the combo. If you learned something today, drop a like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Remember I also livestream on Twitch so come say hi next time.